Hi everyone. Today we'll see how to implement video player with some small buttons that is pause, play, stop and everything. So to do that, let's add a video player game object. I have a clip here, video clip. That I'll just drag over the video player. So now I'll also have a UI image. That is raw image. Just reset the values. So you can see the raw image with the size 1920 1080. We need to have a render texture. So on the project window, just right click and create. Select render texture. This will help us to show the output of the video. We need to change the size of the render texture because our output should be 1920 1080. So I am just changing here. Now just move the or drag the random texture onto the textual element of the raw image where you have to see the output and the same render texture just drag it over the target texture of the video player. So now when you save and click on play, you can see the output that is the video is playing. So now let's just add a script. And name it as video playing on button click. Here we'll start by implementing button functionalities. Just add and open the script. So to add the button functionalities, we actually have to get the video component. So now since I have used the uh, UI element, so I will be using the namespace using unity engine.ui and also we are using un video player, so we will be using the namespace using unity engine.video. Now I will use the variable video of the Variable type video player. It's a private variable because we have already dragged the video on the video player. So at the start, we need to get the video that is get component video player. So now our variable will be equal to get component. We are getting the component video player here where our video is present. So our video is present in the video variable now. So let's just start by implementing the button functionalities. To so save the script. Here, I'll start by adding play and pause buttons, that is UI button. I'll name it as play button. Here, I already have a sprite, that is play and pause button sprite. So, here I'll just drag the play sprite on the uh, play button. I'll just change the size. Just change the size and uh, move it. I'll be moving it at the bottom. 
So I'll create one more button that is pause button. So now I have a pause uh, button sprite. So I'll just drag over the pause button and change the size also. Just increase the size and move it at the bottom. Now our play and pause buttons are ready. So now we need to add the button functionality. To do that, open the script. So let's have a button functionality that is public void on play button play. So or when you click on the play button, I want video to be played. So now I have the video in the video variable. So video dot play. So same thing we'll do with the pause button. Public void on pause button. So it will be video dot pause. So just save the script, add the button functionality here. My script is in the video player, so just drag the script and select the function that is play button click and pause button click. Just save it and click on play. So here you can see when you click on pause button, the video is pausing and when you click on play button, the video is playing. Now let's just add some more buttons. Now I'll start with stop button. I'll repeat the same thing here. I'll just drag the stop sprite over the stop button. Just change the size and uh, move it at the bottom. So now our stop button is also ready. Let's add uh, the button functionality. So for that, let's open the script. Same thing, public void on stop button. So on stop button click, I want the video to stop. That is video dot stop. Just save it and uh, open the Unity. Add the functionality button button event. So click on play. So here when you click on pause and then play, it will start from where it had stopped. But when you click on stop and then play, it will start from the first. And 
now we'll add two more buttons that is looping and non looping looping functionality is where the video continues playing one by one and stop looping is the video stops once it is played so i have two sprites over here for looping and stop looping i'll just drag it over the buttons move it at the bottom and now let's just open the script and add the functionality that is public void loop button click video dot is looping will be true it is true because we want it to loop one after the other so now put the stop looping function that is public void stop loop button function so video dot is looping will be false just add the function now when you click on play when you click on stop looping it will stop looping once the video ends but when you click on looping function it will loop one after the other the video will be played repeatedly now let's just add two more function that is mute and unmute here i have two two more sprites for mute and unmute i'll just drag over the buttons just increase the size and move it wherever you want so this is it guys i have two buttons that is mute and unmute let's add the functionality that is public void on mute button click video dot set direct audio mute that is you are going to mute the audio the value will be 0 comma true you want the audio to be muted when you click on the mute button and same thing we'll be doing it for unmute button on unmute button video dot set direct audio mute will be false on unmute button click you want the audio to be muted try the functionality
just save the scene and click on play. So if you click on unmute, the video will be muted. This is it guys. If you feel this video is useful to you, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.